Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Libre app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader to your device. It's actually free to download from the official Amazon App Store. So we just go to search on our device and start typing the loader in the search bar. As you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after getting the loader, it is not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So let's do it. Here are the settings. Click on them, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options for our device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, we'll go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable the debugging, then we go to install unknown apps. In here, locate the loader and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, open it. And there is the loader application, which we set up to the Fire Stick. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to France right now, and from the moment we connect, all our internet traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just get your computer or your phone, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the best available offer for NordVPN. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to send you to the best deal for NordVPN. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So we open up the loader app. On the left side menu, make sure to click on home, that's important. And then here in the search bar, we'll have to enter a code, which is going to be two, eight, nine, zero, and seven. So once again, the code is two, eight, nine, zero, seven. Make sure to enter it exactly as I did and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, the code is not going to work for you. Then we click on go and wait until the website opens for us. And here it is, now we just have to scroll down a little bit until we see a list of categories. And there's the list, here we have to select the IPTV players category and click on it. After that, a huge list of apps is going to open for you and here's the one which we're looking for, which is Playberry. So we click on Playberry, then some kind of ad might open for you. If it does, do not click on open. Instead, you have to click on close because if you click on open, the ad is going to mess everything up for you. So click on close and then a new web page is going to open for you, which you also have to scroll down. Keep scrolling until you see those download buttons. So here's the button to download the VFR TV stick or Android TV version. But if for some reason it does not work for you and the download does not start, you can always use the back of the download link which is just below the usual download button. So now we click on the download right here and wait until the app gets downloaded to our Fire Stick. If you have a slow connection, it might actually take quite a bit of time. Then you have to click on install right here and wait until Playberry gets installed to your Fire Stick or your Android TV device. And now after it was installed, do not click on open yet. 
Instead, press Undone, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we really do not need it anymore. So we click on Delete, then Delete, and Delete once again. This way we are erasing unnecessary installation files from our devices. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, open it. Then scroll down to the very bottom, and there is the Playberry app, which we actually installed to our Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Playberry app is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. And of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can get three months of NordVPN for free if you use my link in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video. Alternatively, you could just go to the topvpnoffer.com in your browser and it's also going to give you the best NordVPN deal. Then finally, we can open up the Playberry app on our Fire Stick. So here it is loading. And from here, it's really straightforward. Here, you just add the M3U link, which you got from your live TV provider, click on the Continue button, and the app is going to work for you just fine. And pretty much that's it, that's how you can get Playbreed to your Fire Stick or Android TV.